Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to video number two of the Estate Jewelry Clear Out Haul. So um, if you're interested in anything, when you're emailing me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com, make sure you're including that this is from video number two so I don't get confused along with a timestamp and screenshot or screenshot of what you would like to purchase. Um, I accept PayPal and um, shipping's $5 under a pound in the US, outside the US, and over one pound ba is based on your location and the weight. All right, so let's get going. Make sure you guys are checking out that sold list that's pinned in the comments before you email me. And let's see what this portion of the video brings. So here we have some religious items. Um, this is a rosary. This is very good condition. So we'll do five on that. These are kind of cool. These are definitely some type of stone. Not sure what though, but they're pretty, almost like a marble. So we will do uh, six a piece. All right, I'm starting to collect more bags, so I just have to keep a space for them. This is another 50 year thing. I don't know, that's just gonna go into craft. What's in here? Bags and bags of goodies. Oh geez, okay, this looks like kind of like a hodgepodge of all kinds of stuff. Let me get this bag and start putting all these baggies in it. I can definitely reuse these. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. Here is a pair of hoop clip-ons. They're in good condition. Oh, they're Avon, okay. So we'll do four on those. These are crown, tr oh wait, that's not the mate. <laughs> It looks like it from the back. These are Crown Trafari clip-ons. So we're gonna do um, six on these. These say, okay, these just say patent on the back. That one's a little bent. Oh wait, does it say something else? It does, these are Monet. Let me just kind of try to bend this back. There we go, so these are Monet clip-ons. So we'll do four on those, those are in good shape. Now these have no name, but they're very pretty. Um, ooh, we're missing a stone. So these will be craft. Craft items are $1 each. This does not have a mate, so that will go into craft as well. We have these clip-ons. They are plastic, we'll just do two bucks. This little guy, it's a Dodds, it does not have a mate. That stinks, because that's really pretty and all the stones are there. So that'll be a dollar. That's broken, so these are a dollar, that's a dollar. These are gold tone clip-ons two bucks. This is a Monet, but there's no mate. These are cool. They're just metal. They are not really in the best of condition. We'll put those in craft. Screw back. Uh, I think they're just plastic. Two bucks. There's these little screw backs, green flower with the faux pearl and a horseshoe or a wishbone. No maker, we'll just do three on these. These gold tone clip-ons, we'll just do three as well. Ooh, these all look like the same type of brooch. They all do not have a maker mark. 
Okay, um, they all have their stones. Nope, this one's missing one, two. This one's missing two, so that's craft. These, um, I'll just do three a piece on because they are missing some of the enamel paint. So three bucks a piece on these. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. Let's look at this big bag I had out in the beginning. I, it looks like I haven't even made a dent in this duffel bag here that I have. So this might be like a huge series here. <laughs> All right, this is a single earring. This is a little pin, so that's fine. So we'll do like three bucks on that. This will be craft. Okay, we have, this is just a, um, like a tack pin. It'll just be a dollar because it's a little worn. These shell earrings are cute. Those will be $2. This is pretty. Oh, it's missing stones. So unfortunately, that's a craft item. But these little baggies are good, so let me put these, save these. This is a mirror, so we'll do four on that. This is a Lisner, so let's do ten on this one. Really nice, good condition. Sometimes I like that everything is bagged up separate and then sometimes I don't because I feel like it takes longer to open up the bags, but then again, nothing's tangled. So <laughs> these are pretty. These are rhinestone drop earrings for pierced ears. No maker. We'll do four on those. Those are really nice. This is just a random religious tack pin in there and a single earring. These will just have to be a dollar each. Ooh, this is huge, whatever this is. Wow. So this is encrusted with rind. It's missing some, and look, the back was a, a brooch, and it is missing the whole pin. But I mean, this is big. So... We're missing one, two, we're missing like two stones. Well, a dollar. Oh, and I still have this um, turquoise and sterling single earring. Um, I'll drop it to $5. And then this Siam sterling single earring will do five. And then this made in Japan pin with the, it's kind of bent in the back, but we'll do um, eight on this. Those are price drops. And I still have this pendant. Um, let's drop it to 15, Mexico 925. Okay, let's keep going. See how much we can get in today. All right, th this looks like um, eyeglass holders, CMC, don't know what that is, but they're in good condition, so we'll do five on those. Some nice vintage eyeglass holders. Okay, that's craft, yeah, these are craft items. This looks like it might be a sterling chain. Checking the clasp. Don't see any markings, but I'm just gonna hang on to that for myself. Okay, screw backs, missing stones, craft. All 
Ooh, okay. So this is a necklace. Don't see any makers. So, oh, we're missing a stone there. That one is kind of cruddy. Yep, craft a lot it goes. Oh, this is pretty. All right, so we have the earrings and this beautiful shell. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is really nice. With the seed beads, it is a about a nine inch drop to the pendant. So let's do $12 on the set. That is really, really pretty. These look all kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, so we have a tortoise shell tortoise, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So let's do six on him. Oh, wow. Let's see something here. No. Um, usually if you see something, uh, black like this, like a brooch or a necklace, it's usually, um, God, I always forget the name of it. I'll think of it, but you test it by scratching it on a white board. And if it turns up green, I mean black, then it's that it's basically petrified wood, but I can never think of the name of it. You guys will put it in the comments. But this is really cool. I love this. So let's do eight on it. Oh, that's pretty. Five bucks. This looks nice. All right, so we have a bracelet and necklace set this is so pretty and so old but everything is here and it's oh it's a weiss no way wow okay this is really nice all right wow you guys okay so let's get oh there's a missing stone poop but that's right by the where your wrist, like where the clasp is. So honestly, that wouldn't even bother me. So it's a seven inch length on the bracelet. We're gonna do um, 12 on the bracelet. And then the necklace, I don't see anything missing. So that is a 16 inch total length. And we'll do 18 on the necklace. So what is that? 20 bucks total? I mean, 30. What did I say? 12 and 18? Yeah, 30 bucks total. So um, if you want the set, I'll do like 26. How's that? So 26 or 12 and 18. Does that make sense? Did I do the math right? <laughs> I suck at math. Okay, let's keep going. These look like they are 1928. It just has a bent post. All the stones are there though, so I can fix it and we'll do $4. Okay, this is another necklace, but I don't see any makers on this one. Oh, we're missing a whole bunch of rhinestones there. But that's really it. Though there's one there missing. 
So I don't know if that would bother somebody. It's at the back of the neck. But I think it's really pretty. So let's get the measurement. It is 16 inch total length. Oh wait, there is a mark on it right there. O-R-A. But there's missing a bunch of stones, so I'm just going to do five on it. Wow, this looks cool. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this seems to be like a slider bracelet, maybe? Let's see. And then you pull. Pull it like so. I don't know how it would stay though, and it wouldn't like pull back, pull and make it looser. But I'm guessing that's how it goes. How awesome is this? Um, nothing missing. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't think I saw any marks, any maker marks. So let's do, I'm going to price this kind of high because this is really unique. Let's do $30 on it. That is really cool. 30 bucks and that's probably still a deal. Okay. This is cute. It is by, what does that say? Dodds. Five dollars. Collecting my bags over here. Remember to check the sold list pinned in the comments before you email, and all my information is always in the description box. Oh, we're missing a little, little doodad on this guy. So these are craft. Ooh, here's another Lisner. This is pretty. So let's do, um, I'll just do 10 on it because there's a little teeny paint chip in that middle faux pearl. This says it's a Vermeil. So let's see. Let me turn on Pressy. Maybe that is Jade. Yeah, so it does say 925 on the chain. But let's just see because... I just want to double check it. Hopefully that's a good enough scratch. Yep. It sure is sterling with a gold wash. Now let's see if, I mean, what these stones are. So we have a little stone up here. Ooh. Could that be like a, geez, that's like on every line. Maybe a chrysophrase? Let's see, what color is that? I would say that that's like a greenish, right? Hmm. It's dead smack in the middle of chrysophrase, emerald, and nephrite. It could, it could be... Hmm. All right, you guys let me know what you think. And this is just coming up as glass, I would say. I don't really know if that's anything. Oh wait, it's mo it is moving up. No. Wow, that this one's confusing. I'm kind of I'm kind of lost on this one. 
All right, I'll do it one more time and then I'll give a price and yeah, I mean, it's dead smack in. Okay, all right, enough of that. I'll give you a drop on the chain. There is a shorter uh, extension length, so it's a nine inch wearable drop and we'll do um we'll do 14 on it it's really pretty sorry i'm kind of confused on that reading but i'm kind of thinking chrysophrase but along those lines because i know there's a lot of stones that fall under this those categories so all right anyways anywho got this brooch we'll do four on that Here's some shell necklaces. Are these called Heishi or Heishi? Something like that. These are really pretty. So we'll just do um, $4 a piece on them. They're little collar necklaces. Oh, these are pretty. These are clip-ons, but they're really pretty. Um, these are just plastic rhinestones, really excellent condition. They're probably brand new. We'll do four. Okay, this is a brooch. This is really nice. I like that. Ooh, the cameo and the little dangles. So we will do um, six on that one. Okay, this has no clasp, but a very nice, oh no, it does right here. No markings, but it definitely can be doubled, maybe even tripled if you like a nice thick collar necklace. It is a 26 wearable length, and then you can probably double or triple it. So let's do $6 on that, that's really nice. It's got a nice substantial weight, not too heavy though. I'm not gonna need uh, little baggies for a long time, this is great. <laughs> Okay, so here's a cute little brooch. Nice condition, all the stones are there, five bucks. Ooh, this is nice. Oh wow, it's, you can stretch it. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow, I like this. How do I open it? There we go. Very cool. So this is tiny though. Um, I know it has the stretchy, but I mean, you don't want it to be like a dog collar. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, it's a 13 inch length. So that th this wouldn't even fit me. I'm like a 14 and a half, I think. But it's very cool. You might even be able to double it for a bracelet and then hook it. No, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, five bucks. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool vintage piece though. All right, we got two really nice brooches, gold tone. I don't see a maker on that one or this one, but they're in very, oh wait, is that? Oh, okay, this one looks like Avon. They have the little dot right there. Let's see if I can. Right there. Um, let me see if this one had it. No. So we'll do um, five a piece. They're in really nice condition. I like those. This is so fun. Do you guys like this? I'm liking it. Very interesting. So this stuff, um, my husband's friend said that it dates 
back to the early 1900s. Um, because his grandmother, this was all his grandmother's stuff, and then she had gotten a lot of it from, you know, her family and, and stuff like that. So this is all very cool. When he asked if I'd be interested in taking whatever was left from the jeweler, I was like, yes. And supposedly this, what I showed in that photo of the three duffel bags full of jewelry, supposedly that's, that was one suitcase full. Supposedly, he has three total suitcases, so there's two more suitcases full of jewelry, which I don't know if he's brought it to the jewelry yet or what, but I might be getting those as well, so this will be really great. Um, okay, so this looks like the clasp may have broke, and they just kind of put this on it to make it function again. Um, it's kind of cool, right? It's pretty. So let's give you a total length. It's a 15 and a half total length. So let's do eight on that. Here's a gold tone rose brooch. Um, we'll do five on that. So I'm definitely going to be able to make some nice money for them, for him and his wife. Uh, you know, try to get some money to him to help his family with the funeral and everything else. All right, this is really nice. Because, you know, otherwise they, would, they wouldn't know what to do with it. They'd probably just end up donating it. I'm like, no, I can help you. <laughs> Let me help. So here's 15-inch wearable length. Very nice chain. We'll do um, eight on that one. 14-karat gold plate. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 14-karat gold plate. This is a bracelet, very nice. Love that for stacking with other bracelets. Um, this is a length of seven and a quarter. We'll do seven on it. Okay, these are cute. They're very dainty and lightweight. Um, three bucks. Okay. Ooh, these are nice. Okay, so this one's broken. Oh, wow. And that's really nice. They're not glass. Um, it's broken. The pin is broken in the back, so that's craft. This one is a little bent. So we'll do um, three on that one. Oh, wow. I thought it was a necklace. <laughs> Okay, so here's some stretchies in like a, let's see, are these anything? Nope, they're just plastic. So we'll just do a dollar a piece, little stretch bracelets. Okay. Ooh, so I don't think we have mates to any of these. Oh wait, here's a, here's a match. So here's rhinestone screw backs. Right here, they are a little discolored. So we'll just do $2 on those. This is just a random, this is a random, that one's cool. So those will go into craft. 
And then these look like little sister brooches or scatter brooches. And all the stones are there. This one looks a little discolored. So we'll do um, six for the set. Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Look at that. A little wear on the back. Don't see any markings on the clasp. But this is really pretty. All right, let me get a total length. 20 inch total length. That is just really nice. Put a little mark of sight in the middle. Let's do, um, let's do 14 on this one. Really cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, but they're missing links. I mean, uh, yeah, like the little connector links. See down here? Poop. Well, the earrings are really cool. Look at them, screw backs, what does that say? Oh geez, I don't even know what that says. Jewel, I think? No, triad. That was off. <laughs> yeah, I think that says triad. Is that something special? Let's look. Okay, so triad, triad, um, how would you describe these? Like Chinese character, Chinese, Earrings? I don't know. Let's just try to start with that. All right, let's just do, let's take out that. Here, vintage signed triad. Okay, so 50s triad here, 30. Okay, so we're looking, at, the going rate is about 20 to $30. Let's see, solds. Okay, so not really that. Not really doing that good. Okay, so let's do um, 10 on the earrings because they're in really good condition and they're very unique. And I don't know what happened to these links, but this is all jacked up. So this will just be $3 for the components. That could be reused into something really cool. Okay. Oh, let's keep a going. Where are we at? We're about a half an hour in. Okay, so here are two brooches. Oh, I can't even get in there to get the stone. It's so far down in there. All right, well, that's not going to work. Oh, I can test this one, though. Yep, so these are jade um, pieces. So we'll just do... Um, Five on this little guy because the stone is kind of loose in there and six on him that's probably a real pearl that's not in good condition that's really that's really worn All right, so we have these cuties. These are little pierced ear rhinestone drop earrings. Four bucks. A lot of littles in this portion of the video. I've seen, I feel like I went through a lot, but my pile next to me is not very big. <laughs> All right, clasp, do you say anything? Ooh, ooh, you do, you do. What do you say? It says 14K. Oh, Lord. Let me get the stone out. 
the jeweler missed something, possibly, unless he tested it and it's a faker. I think we might have a real 14K chain here, guys. It's holding. It looks like they may have altered the end here and soldered this jump ring on. Because it looks like it's soldered. It's not, it doesn't move. Other than that, she looks good. Even the this side of the clasp looks nice. Yep, I say this is real. It's still holding the 14K line. Eee! Okay. <laughs> Jeweler missed something. Jeweler missed something. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So let's dig a little deeper and weigh it. And then we'll get the gold calculator out. Because I have been selling my gold jewelry. You guys are buying it, so I'll keep selling it to you when I get it. Gold, gold calc. So I use goldcalc.com. We're at 8.35. And if anybody is interested in purchasing this, my disclaimer is always the same. You're seeing everything presented to you in this video. So all sales are final. All sales are, are final no matter what. It's just that I have to be like extra careful with like the very expensive things. So, all right. So I do 8.35 grams and it's 14 carat. This is gonna give me the current scrap value of um, this item. So right now, if I were to take it to the jeweler, they're not gonna give me 280, 77. They'll probably give me like 200 because you know, they gotta make their money too. So um, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask 275 because I gotta make some money and I gotta pass it along to our friends um, who let me have this. So. 275, oops, 275, this will be a nice little boost in the sales for them. And the total length, total length of it is 21 and a half, not that you can see. I'm not gonna be able to get it in the frame, but I can probably get the end of it in the frame. Twenty one and a half. Oh Jesus, hold on. Oh no, it's not. See, I'm glad I redid it. It's twenty and a half. Okay. Two hundred and seventy five dollars, fourteen K. It was over eight grams. Yellow gold necklace chain. That's awesome. That is really great. All right, cool. Yay, I'm excited. That, that could really help them. Okay. Let's see what else. What else? Oh, okay. We got two pieces here. That's why you guys have to always check the clasps. And even though the jeweler already went through this, I'm still being very careful. And look at that. See? Even professionals miss things. All right. This doesn't have any maker mark or anything. Yeah, it's just... This is, oh, this has, oh yeah, no, this has a, some discoloration. We're just gonna put that in craft. This does say something, I think. Okay, this says, I thought I could read it, but I need my loop. Um, a C O one 20th, 12 K gold filled and it's a little bracelet there's somewhere right here on the 
chain, it looks like they soldered that on as well. So it's not where it's actually solder. And oh wow, it's tiny. It's a five inch total length. So we'll just do um, $7 on that. That's cute though. For a child even, that looks so cute. All right, what is this big honker? A little $3 price tag. Oh, Kramer. Hmm. Yeah, because here's the, the string from it. It's not marked otherwise, though. Let's see what's going on with all these chains. Okay, so it's just a really long silver tone and gold tone chain. You can definitely double this. Right now, it's sitting at a 25-inch wearable length. And we'll do 10 on that. That's cool. I'll include the tag. All right. Oh, look, this would have been the match for that single earring. Doo doo. And I think this is actually broken. Yeah. So it used to connect right up here. Yep, I can see where it broke off. Well, it's still pretty. I mean, you can kind of still wear it like that if you wanted. <laughs> um, there's a dead stone, but I don't see any missing. So let's get a total length on this. 15 inches. So I'll just do five on it since it's got a little boo-boo, but that's pretty. All right, let's dive into another bag. We finished that one. Well, I'll go for another 15 minutes or so. So make sure you guys are checking that sold list pinned in the comments. Oh, wow, look at this. So maple, maple wood, a maple leaf from maple wood. And an oak, willow oak leaf. Oh, cool, guys, look. Oh, I wonder if this guy's still in business. Like, how long ago was this? Port Jefferson Station, that's uh, Long Island. So, depending on where on Long Island that is, that's about two hours from me. Two hours south. That's really cool. Wood, metal, glass, needle craft. Very cool. Okay, so these are brooches on the original card, I'm guessing. Yeah, it, look, it's signed. Oh my gosh, how cool. All right. Yep, this one's two, signed two. So, we're gonna do um, 10 a piece. Okay, $10 each. Very cool piece of history. Bolo tie. This was originally $4. So let's keep it $4. I'll even put it in the back in the bag. It looks like it came from maybe a antique booth. Four bucks on that. This kind of looks like it would be silver. But it's missing a lot of stones. I... Let's just take a little gander. <laughs> I never say gander. Nope, it's not. It is not. So that'll be craft. Ooh, with the diamond cuts. Um, I don't know. <sighs> oh no, I dropped my bracelet measurer. Hold on, I gotta get that. Okay. 
seven and three fourths and we'll do three dollars. What is this? I love little boxes made in Hong Kong. So I think that dates it to what the 70s or 80s, I think. Little, uh, it's like a piece of something that they laid on there. Oh, geez. <laughs> How cute. It was that a pill. No. Looks like just a piece of paper or something. How cute is this? And you can probably even write on that if you wanted. Oh my gosh, I love it. We're gonna do $10 on that. This little brooch, four. Here's the back. What is this? What are you? A nice chain, just silver tone. You know what, I'm actually gonna keep this because I always need plain chains. So that's gonna be mine, sorry. That, oh, this is a 925 earring back, so I'll keep that too. We have a little um, angel tack pin with a clover. We'll just do two bucks, you'll get the single button for free. <laughs> Here's a bone, flower brooch with a button five bucks you get in the you get the button free <laughs> this looks like a locket oh it's got some I'll try to clean that my nails are too thick my nails are too thick let's try to get this opened all right Four bucks. Ooh, this is nice. What are you? You are Monet. It is a really long chain, silver tone chain. Total wearable length, 18 inches. So it's an 18 inch drop. We'll do six dollars. Here's a little, um, oops. Okay, well that was the pearl, so those are craft. You guys, that says 14K too. But I bet the um, jeweler wouldn't you know, didn't want to take it because if it's just the 14K clasp, there's nothing really he can do with that. But these might be 14K beads in between, but I wouldn't know how to test that because how do you get in there? Oh, maybe you can. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let me get the clasp on here too so we can double check it oops oh I think it is I think these are 14k beads in here too with black glass yep I think we got 14k in between these beads and the, the fish hook clasp. Winner, winner, a chicken dinner. <laughs> I gotta really clean this the right way when I'm done with the video. Okay. So, black glass, 14K clasp, fish hook clasp, and Spacer beads, nine inch drop. So you guys know how to use a fish hook clasp, right? You just put in the one side. It's gonna be hard to do with, it's so tiny with my nails. All right, well, you know what to do. <laughs> um, so let's do 
Well. Hmm. Let's do 75 on this one. That's a lot of 14K beads. So 75 on that. And let's clean up my little baggies here and then we'll keep going. Yay, all right, cool, I'm excited. This was such a better, this is gonna be such a better video <laughs> than the first one. Okay, this is really pretty. Gold tone, matte and glossy. No maker, but it does have an extender. Smallest, shortest length is a nine inch wearable. We'll do seven on that. Okay, I don't see any makers on this either, but all the stones are there. This is a nice collar necklace. I can give you total length on that. I would say it's about 15 inches. We'll do $8, really nice condition. I think we're gonna finish up with this little bag and then we'll call it a day. Gold tone leaf brooch, $5. These are just little random pieces. Those will be in craft. We have some rings. That's what I'm noticing. She didn't have very many rings, huh? At least not so far. Okay, these are all very worn. These are both, I should say. This says K-A, J-A, I don't know. Glass, glass. This one's really worn. I mean, look at the sides. And up here, so that'll go into craft. This one is really worn too. Look at the whole gold. All the gold is worn off. Let's just see something. Yeah, no. So that'll go into craft two. This is pretty gold tone with the uh, little faux pearl. We'll do five on it. This has a mark. This is Sarah Coventry. It's peeling a little bit on the top, so we'll just do three. There's another little leaf brooch. Um, it's, it is peel. You know what? That's going to go into craft. I think there's another leaf brooch. Yeah, all the pe pearls are kind of peeling a little bit. We'll just do $2. Make sure you guys are checking that sold list pinned in the comments. All my information's in the description box. If you have not bought from me before, make sure you send me your mailing address as well with your PayPal email. That's going to go into craft. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click that bell to all so all of my um, videos give you a notification when they post. $5 on this guy. Click the thumbs up help my channel grow. What is this? It says 1 20th 10k gold filled. Very cool, but there's no face. So um, I don't know if anyone can craft with this, but I'll do $5 just because it is gold filled. 
We'll save that for last. Single earring, that's probably sterling, so that'll just go into my sterling scrap. This is another Sarah Coventry. It goes with the other one, but again, the pearl is peeling a little bit, so we'll just do $2. Ooh, ew. Okay, that has a, all verdigris all over it. That's gonna go in the garbage. Okay, last piece, and it's in this box. Let's see what it is. Oh, wow, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. It looks like all singles. Oh, wait, here's a match. Gold tone dogwoods. These are really nice. These are in good shape. Five bucks. Tack pin, we'll just do a dollar. And yeah, all these look like mismatches. Those two pearls aren't the same color. These little things, these little scrolls, we'll just do two bucks. And the rest are just backs and whatnot. So, okay, guys, that's it. That wraps up video number two. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. And that's where I'll see you. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.